Hey, what's up YouTube? Casual Yugi stuff back with another Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Today I'm going to be going through my Sign and Dragon collection. I've got a piece of mail here which is really great. I've picked up a very special card and cannot wait to add it to my collection and then show you the collection update for my Sign and Dragons which are just here. We've got the Sign and Dragon playmat out today so if you're excited for the video please drop a like, comment and subscribe and let's get straight into this piece of mail. So like I said, I'm a massive Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds fan. Very, very much so. I think the dragons in this series are absolutely amazing and um, I want to collect them all, really. So let's take a little look and see what's arrived today. Which first edition dragon has arrived? Arguably the best of the best. Today, let's take a little look and see. So, it's not a blue eyes white dragon. <laughs> Although it looks like a blue eyes white dragon, it's just been packaged very funnily. Um, so let's just take it out of here. With our blue eyes, there you go. So I picked up also a Life Equalizer Ultimate Rare and a blue eyes white dragon in North American print. The thing has a crease on the back, but it just looked really good for my binder. But the card we've all been waiting for, guys, is Star Dust Dragon. There you go, near mint to mint 8, Stardust Dragon guys, absolute gem of a card, even though it's not mint 9 or gem mint 10, this is going to go well in my collection, for now, I do plan on getting a first edition 10, ultimately, down the line, but yeah, Stardust Dragon has joined the collection, I'm so happy to own a first edition one of these, um, because I only had an unlimited PSA 10, which I had to sell, so I had to sell this unlimited PSA 10, which is popping up on screen, I sold that to an unlimited collector, um, Danny, a friend of mine, and um, basically now I'm going to be chasing the first edition um, Sign of Dragons, and this Stardust Dragon is an absolute gem. It's North American print, um, which I kind of prefer for 5Ds, the North American print, but overall, stunning card, look at that. So, where does this leave us? So we've got a Stardust Dragon, which is near mint to mint 8. And we've got a Red Dragon Archfiend, which is Gem Mint 10, that most of you know that I own, which is great. So we've got those two. And then we've got a Black Rose Dragon, which is eight. So that goes kind of well with our Stardust Dragon, because they've both got eights. Then we've got a Red Dragon Archfiend Assault Mode, which is Mint 9, unfortunately not Mint 10. But I actually do have two more of these at PSA right now, so fingers crossed we do actually get a... Uh, do get a 10 eventually, I've submitted like 6 of them. Then Power Tool Dragon, Gem Mint 10, which is beautiful. Recently back in our submission we had an Ancient Fairy Dragon which was a 9, so there you go, Ancient Fairy as a 9. Then Majestic Star Dragon also as a 9, unfortunately not a 10, but has a bit of whitening literally there, that little speck of whitening there is the only reason why this card is a 9 and not a 10. Majestic Red Dragon with a 10, which is beautiful. And we've got Black Wing Dragon as a 10. Epic card, I love this one. Then we've also got Shooting Star Dragon as a 10. And finally, last but not least, Red Nova Dragon also as a 10. So guys, overall, we're doing really, really well on our collection um, for these dragons. We're just missing Majestic Star Dragon, Ancient Fairy Dragon, um, Red Dragon Archfiend Assault Mode, Black Rose Dragon, and Stardust Dragon in 10s, and then I would have completed all of them in 10s, which is uh, pretty exciting. But for the time being, as I say, I picked up this Stardust Dragon in 8, just because I didn't have a first edition Stardust Dragon, so this will be in the collection for the time being, which is pretty epic. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. If you have a first edition Stardust Dragon Ultimate Rare graded 9 or 10, please do hit me up, because I'd like to upgrade this eventually. And uh, yeah, I'm really proud of my Sign of Dragon collection, guys. I started this like three years ago, picking up raw cards, you know, pulling some of them as well, um, and just grading them myself. So really, really satisfying to have all of these. And um, I hope you enjoy this video, guys. Very short one today. Just keep it casual, and I'll see you all in the next one. Ciao for now.